Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Coach Undress, and thank you for tuning in, ladies. Before we go even further, I'd like to say, if you all have any questions that want to go further into this, any interests or problems or frustrations, what's going on with your relationship, check out coachingwithundress.com. I'm here to help. I would love to go for a one-on-one -on -one session. If it's through email, phone call, or Zoom, I'm here to help you all. That being said, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic uh, I got told about through a, a client of mine. And uh, I'm not saying everyone's been there, but I'm going to say some people have, and there's nothing wrong with it, but it's more about how can we learn from it, and is it possible? Is it possible? And it is called, can a one-night stand, <laughs> can a one-night stand lead to a relationship? Is a one-night stand to a relationship possible? Huh. Huh. Not encouraging one night stands as a coach or as a man, but it's out there. It's been there. People have done it. No worries. Not here to judge. No worries. No problem. It's fine. It's okay. We got sexual needs, people. I get it. Not here to judge. But is it possible? That's the interesting part. That's the intriguing part. That's the challenge. Is it possible to go from a one night stand to a relationship? Huh. Up. Well, I got four points on that I'd like to go over with. But before we like to go into those four points, how about you hit that subscription? Because I'd really appreciate your subscription because, you know, I want to make sure you stay notified on what we have to say, how we want to make sure we ensure our guidance, our tips towards you. Hit that bell. Again, leave any comments, suggestions. I always take recommendations for video topics all the time. So again, don't be shy. I love reading those. That being said, let's go. A one night stand possible to a relationship. Number one. I like to call this love at first sex. <laughs> love at first sight, love at first sex. Wow, coach, I did not expect it to happen so quickly. We just had such great energy, the attraction, the vibe. Maybe one too many glasses of wine, but woo, what a night. That was an amazing night, amazing man, amazing sex. I've heard it all. It's interesting, love at first sex. What does that mean necessarily, obviously, others outside of just the specifics and the you know obvious words of what it is? That means you guys have bonded so quickly. And I mean towards the touch, the smell, the taste, the feel, the vibe, the pushiness, the aggressiveness, the, the maneuver, the body language so far, so soon. Yes, I understand there's the social judgment on that. But I'm saying if there's something there, which is rare, and it does happen, which that's why I want to bring more attention to this. If there is something developing more than just that love at first sex moment, one night stand moment, you have to understand you guys shared a very intimate moment so quickly that you now know him more than you probably would have known in weeks or months and vice versa. How do we use that towards basically feeling more confident and high self-esteem about what the situation is. You know, it's, it's interesting to get to know someone so quickly and then act like strangers right off the back. Did we just do that? Did, oh my goodness, I can't believe it. And the regrets, the doubts, the fear, all those things. Obviously, if this happens in a healthy situation, in a safe environment where you guys had a mutual uh, attraction to get to this point where I haven't done that in a long time, coach. I don't, wow, I, I don't, I've never done that. But we just clicked and he made me breakfast and then we went out for a walk and then I went home. I've heard so many different stories in a way where don't basically take that moment and then try to act like strangers because you guys shared something so intimate so quickly. But understand how to pace that connection in a realistic way. Since you guys got so close so quickly physically, don't overwhelm that, but don't pull back acting like I shouldn't have done that. Own it. Know it. That's what happened. Own it. Don't deny it. Don't, don't reject it. But understand where you're at now is to stay in the middle of it, not too far, not too little, right there in the middle. Be consistent with it. 
not necessarily consistent with always having one night stands and sex every time you guys see each other, but be consistent with basically being confident with what you know what you did and you wanted to do it and you had a great time. And now you want to know where does this go because you're feeling a green light from him. You're feeling the vibe that there's something maybe more. You know, the worst thing to do is to do that and then pull all the way back and act like you didn't it didn't bother you didn't you didn't like it or you didn't care about it or to go so far so fast and be like i want to see you tomorrow i want to see you i don't leave me oh my god let's get married well i mean those times happens you know those moments have happened i've heard some you know interesting stories but stay in the middle stay in the middle all right number two number two on a, can a one night stand lead to a relationship is it possible well, this has a lot to do with the dopamine system. And this is a saying where it's interesting, which is, I think, it's very true. Men fall in love quicker. Women fall in love deeper. Right? I mean, I'm sure you've heard that. I'm guilty of that. Um, <laughs> but the idea is sex is not a casual thing. Right? But that casual thing happened, that one night stand. So what do you do? Men are visual creatures. We are, you know, and we do fantasize about whatever that situation just happened, if not more. We actually want to, you know, it's interesting in the studies that men want to go further in the relationship, introduce the friends and coworkers and families quicker than the women do. Women are a little more pickier, a little more selective with that. You know, you can go to the whole level of men get almost the double double standard. If they do something, they're considered, oh, okay, cool. If a woman does that, oh, how dare you? You know, so in this scenario, in this environment, if you have a one night stand, the man is already thinking so many possibilities in the relationship or what is this? How could we do this again? Oh my God, that was amazing. Where the woman's being a little more selective, a little more pickier. So the dopamine system and the idea is you could play your card, just like I said, number one, and keep it right in the middle, even. Don't act like you just ignored what just happened. Don't force something more than what it is. Understand there's something there. There's something more meaningful than you thought. You didn't expect this to happen. You weren't planning on this, first of all, but it did happen. And you really do love how you felt that time with him. And you really feel comfortable so quickly after one date. And you're wondering, what is there? What is there really? Is there any potential? Is there a possibility of anything further? And what's the best way to understand and observe potential or to see if there is possibilities? Staying present, staying calm, staying collective. Let him go up and down figuring out what to do. Let him panic or overthink and overanalyze things. Stay cool, stay collective, stay calm. Don't act like you're playing hard to get or there's some pressure or expectations with all due respect in this specific topic. Those are gone. And you chose and you want it to happen and he wanted it to happen. You guys mutually had a great night together. So don't play it so like hard to get in the sense of, you know, you're not going to get it. It's already gotten. The idea is be calm and collective to observe how he responds. You know what I'm saying? Say less, do more. Say less, listen more. And let's see what he does, because usually men like to fantasize further into the situation, like to understand, I want to meet her you know, I want her to meet my friends. She, that was an amazing, oh my goodness. You know, men get hooked quicker. Men get hooked quicker. Women get hooked deeper. So let's see what he does after this situation, after this amazing one night. All right? Number three. Number three. But before we go into number three, if you guys have any questions or want to figure out any more uh, advice, guidance, or coaching on different topics or this one, check out coachingwithundress.com. As well, I also have a brand new product. It's called How to Love a Man. I would love for you all to check it out. It's just a really cool audio product, and it talks about everything from the past, present, to future, and what to do. All right? Women have the power. Women, you have the power. You have the power of sex. You have the power of the beauty that you have. You have the power. So this goes along with number two. As a staying calm and collective, let him go off and go crazy. Let him fantasize and overthink and overanalyze and do all the work. You have the power. You literally have the power. Act like it. Own the night. Take control. Understand what's going on. Don't let him feel like 
he's only going to get what he wants when he wants it. If this is okay, this is a situation that's very specific. It's very uh, rare. If you think there's something more outside of just the one night stand, be confident about that one night. Be confident about how fun that one night was. Be confident how great it felt that one night. Not too much, not too little. Right in the middle. Remember that you have the power in the situation. So be confident in it. Don't regret. Don't, oh, why could, could I have done that? I really liked them. I can't believe I gave it up and I can't. It's already done. You did do it. Own it. Or that was so amazing. I want to see you every day. Whoa. Understand there is still some level of chase and challenge in the relationship part, in the emotional part. You know what I'm saying? Without the pressure and expectations, there is still a challenge. There is emotionally, understanding who he is more. And play that in a confident way to sit back and observe who he is. All right? Number four, can a one night stand to a relationship, is it possible? Yes, it is. And it's usually from what I've heard, when the women are in the place in their life where that's all they maybe wanted, maybe they only wanted something casual. You know, they weren't looking for something so serious, and then it just happened. You don't plan on it. It's when two, two you know, uh, energies come together and maybe a couple of <laughs> glasses of wine or something, or who knows, you're dancing or karaoke or the food's that good, and you guys are just drawn to each other, and it's a beautiful thing that what happened with the connection, with the energy. Maybe it's a little too fast, too quickly towards the sex, which I totally understand. But what bonded you two people together on that one night is a beautiful thing. It is. So let's not, let's not force it. Let's not suffocate the other parts that need to develop. Let things develop naturally. So again, so the next step from two and three to observe more. Let things develop naturally. If you were put yourself in that position where you did have a one night stand because you were looking for a good time, but now you realize, I kind of like this guy. He kind of, just so easy and cool. Wow. He's not so, you know, needy. He's very independent. You know, he's just there's something there. Cool. Then play that card and let it develop naturally because you were there too. It takes two to dance. Maybe you weren't looking for a relationship. Maybe he wasn't looking for a relationship. So don't force a relationship on that just because you seem to like him more than you thought you did. Just because the night was more amazing than you thought it was. Let it develop naturally, organically, authentically. And that way you can kind of see what's going to happen with that. And again, this is a very rare situation. I know it could be sensitive in certain situations. It's if you see there's something there. If you see some mutual interest, more mutual effort, more mutual attraction towards, wow, that was great. I want to, I want to see you again compared to the level of just one night casual sex, never see you again. I'm not talking about that. Talking about these rare times that it does happen where something there's, you know, you're curious. Is there something there? I felt something. There's something developed from there. And the idea is how to instruct you in all circumstances, not just the good times, not just the first dates and second dates and the friend referral dates or the online app dates. You have to talk about every situation. And that's the idea. I want to become a better coach and understand all different environments, all different situations. And how to bring some insight and some light into all those situations, even the uncomfortable ones, the dark ones. That's what I want to do. Educate the uneducated on scenarios that are sometimes happening that you didn't ask for, but what to do. Some guidance. I mean, I wish I had that growing up in high school. I'd make less mistakes. Because the idea is we know the obvious of what to do in the relationship stuff in the way of coaching. We obviously know what we want to say and what we want to do towards the, the natural way of a healthy relationship that pro progresses in the right way. Now I'm all for that. I'm a very old school guy. But there are scenarios like this that do happen. You know, and I've, had, I've heard some stories. So I want to make sure, how do I learn from that? How do I think outside the box to bring some insight on that? Share that. Because I know that she's not the only one who's telling me this. You know, we, there's a variety of people who've been through these situations. There is hope. And that's the whole idea with what I do. I'm a believer. I am. You know, I'm an optimist. I'm not naive. I'm not stupid. But I'm a believer. And there's got to have faith in everything you do. 
So even a situation that might be an amazing, magical one night, is there a chance it could lead to something else? Yeah, of course there is. Small chance, but there's a chance. And I wanna make sure I educate you on any chance of any situation in your dating world. That being said, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully this was somewhat entertaining or insightful. If you want to go any further any, on any, any other topics or any other situations in your relationship, hit up coachingwithundress.com. I'm here to help. Thank you very much.